Hey guys, in this video I'm going to continue the tutorial for um, Adele, Someone Like You. Uh, we're going to do the first chorus in this video. In the last video I did the bridge, the previous video I did the first verse. So if you want to check those out, I also have videos for Ragtime um, pieces, The Entertainer, Make Believe Rag. I'm starting Elite Syncopations, all by Joplin, so check out my other videos. And we left off in right here. We're coming out of this bridge. This is the ending of the first bridge. And then chorus one starts. But the thing about uh, the chorus is that there's about, you could think of it as like five sections or cycles. And each section has um, four chords to it. So it varies from each one slightly. There's a uh, subtle variation, so it can be a little tricky to memorize, but once you keep doing it, you'll memorize it. And if you forget, like I said before, like if you slip up and you play uh, one, ver one variation of a chord over another, it doesn't make the biggest deal. So I'm gonna play through it slowly. Here's middle C, go over here, and I'll break it down after. So that's the whole thing. So it starts out, your left hand is on these low A octaves, up to these E octaves, to F sharp, C sharp, to D octaves. So that's the first cycle. As I said, each one has four chords. So if you could think of memorizing like memorizing it like that by cycles, so the first time, the first four, then the second four, the third four, the fourth four, and the fifth four, it's a little easier that way. And then for those first four left hands, the right hand is, here's middle C, A, uh, C sharp A, to G sharp B, G sharp, back to A, C sharp, A, to A, D, A. And it's arpeggiated back and forth. It's like the whole song is, so. And then, so now we're on the second cycle. Again, you start on A octaves on the left hand. Again, up to E and E, uh, E octave. Again, to F sharp and C sharp. Then to the D octave. Right hand, same thing, A, C sharp, A. Then instead, so now it changes, you don't do G sharp, B, G sharp for the second chord, you do B, E, G sharp. Then back to A, C sharp, A, then A, D, A. So I'll start out, I'm gonna play section two of the chorus. So 
now we'll move on to the third one. Now the left hand, instead of A octaves, starts on an A and an E. Then it goes to E and E. Then it goes back to F sharp, C sharp, and D and D. Right hand, A, C sharp, A. G sharp again. Then the third one is starts is uh, B C sharp A to A C sharp A. So that one has two um, different ones within one. So it would normally be, but instead it's and then A D A. So that one. All right. So this is what we have so far, the first three cycles of the chorus. Fourth one again starts on an A and an E to E and E to F sharp C sharp to D and D. In the right hand, A C sharp A, B E G sharp. Now this third one changes. Now it's A C sharp F sharp. And then the fourth one changes to A D F sharp. So that goes like this. cycle of four starts on A and E, goes down to E and B, up to F sharp, C sharp, down to D and A, just like the uh, verse in the right hand. You're on A, C sharp, E, to G sharp, B, E. C sharp F sharp to A D F sharp and this last one is the only one that plays four times as that's leading you back and that's leading you into verse two so together Okay, so the, like I said, there's slight variations within the left, whether you're doing octaves or fifths and the right, it changes up a little bit, but it's not that hard to memorize if you think of it in those sections and you play it over and over again. And like you can see here, I wrote it out on a paper. So for the purposes of uh, teaching it, and you could do something similar and um, so if you, you know, you could start out by looking at the paper and then as you get more comfortable with it, take the paper away. So now I'm gonna play through the whole thing again.
messed up there. Let me do it again. Right, so that's the whole chorus. Uh, really try to learn it uh, section by section, and if you need to slow down, slow down the video, whatever you have to do, rewind it as many times as you need. And um, if you need any clarification on anything, feel free to leave uh, to comment below, and I'll get back to it. If you want to leave suggestions or feedback, that's appreciated too. If you can like, share, subscribe, and all of that, I appreciate that, and thanks for watching.